Hey guys, Clean Nintendo Memes here, also known as JJG on YouTube, and today I'm here to give you guys a tutorial on how to think of an Instagram name for your new Instagram page. Let's get into it. Before I give you these tips, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I currently have a meme page, Clean Nintendo Memes, with over 11,000 followers and tens of thousands of likes on my posts. I'm not a professional, but I think I can help some new pages. Let's get started. So pretty much the first thing you're going to want to do is find out what your niche for your Instagram page is going to be. It could be skateboards, race cars, video games, memes, or just something that you're really passionate about. Also, I want to say it's going to be really hard to grow a personal page, like a vlog channel or just anything like that, because to be honest, no one really cares about your personal life. They, they care about like their hobbies. That's what you're trying to go for. You're not trying to go for like today I had a bowl of cereal. No, you're trying to go for something that people are actually going to be interested in, because really, no one cares about your personal life, unless you're a celebrity, of course. Like, if you're like LeBron James, obviously everyone's going to care about what you're doing, but if you're just like a, a nobody, no one's going to care about what you're doing. They want to they wanna see something that they're interested and invested in. And I'm not saying it's impossible for these personal pages to grow, it's just going to be a lot more difficult than a niche page. Once we have found our niche, we'll use memes as an example, we need to name our page. If you want to find a good name for your page, you want to be really creative. You want to find a name that is original and that fits with the theme of your page. Also, I should mention, you don't want a really long name for your page because it makes it more difficult for people to type out the name of your page and it can be harder to find what they're looking for. You're going to want a name that is short and to the point. If you're doing a meme page, you can name your page The Meme Lord or Meme Master PNG. I know I'm being a hypocrite about long names on Instagram, but in some cases, long names can work just as well as short names. It really depends on what the name is and how it relates to your topic. You typically want a short username that people would have no trouble typing into the search bar whatsoever. I'd also recommend not to have numbers in your name because it seems very unprofessional and messy. Unless the numbers relate to your topic like Nintendo Fan 64, I wouldn't include numbers in your Instagram name. For example, a page like the Gamer Guy sounds much better than the Gamer Guy 36. It just makes the page sound much more clean and organized. Also, one of the biggest things I cannot stress enough about Instagram is you never include emojis in your Instagram page name. It makes your page look spammy, inappropriate, and it hurts your page right from the get-go. While it does grab more attention, it's grabbing the wrong attention. You don't want your page to look like it was made by your boomer uncle or your 11-year-old cousin. Again, I cannot stress enough how much you should never use emojis in your Instagram page name. Also, I should mention that putting periods and underscores in your Instagram name is fine and it can actually help your Instagram page grow. Right now in 2020, everyone puts underscores and periods in their Insta names because it's the style and it just makes a page look nice. Like an Instagram page called meme.dealer.png or meme underscore dealer underscore png, looks better than a page called meme space dealer space png. As of 2020, it is the style right now, so I would recommend to put periods and underscores in your Instagram username. Also, I would recommend for your page name to have no capitals and no spaces because it makes a page look much more symmetrical and neat and it helps you give off a good reputation. You should do this with your bio as well, but that's for another video. Alright guys, I hope that video helped give you a great idea of a new Instagram name. I hope you can use those tips, come up with something great. If you have a name, go comment down below what that name is, and we will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.